Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Madhavan, Surveen, welcome to Film Companion and my show Spill the Tea. You are here to talk about your new Netflix show Decoupled and I hope you're in the mood to spill some tea and some truth bombs about marriage. Absolutely, Sneha. Yeah, we'll do our best, Sneha. <laughs> first things first, what's the first word that comes to your mind when I say happily married? Bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What's... Hmm. There is a happy to the marriage. Come yeah. on. So what's the first word that comes to your mind? Us. Us. Us, meaning me personally and my husband. Us. See. So, so the both of you are I married. I believe in happily married. No, no, I know. So, yeah. the both of you are married and you look happily <coughs> so. So, I want you to give Arya and Shruti a piece of advice that could possibly save their marriage. I think you need to give it a bit more time. Uh, put in a little more effort. Uh, have a bit of patience. Uh, keep working at it for a bit more before you give it up. Just before you give it up. Arya, I will say, please, can you develop a social filter that, you know, doesn't make you so absurd? And then maybe, uh, you know, your marriage will be saved for sure. Because the other attributes are all working fine. <laughs> so, see the beauty of this. We actually took it upon ourselves to make that correction within ourselves mm -hmm. to be able to save the marriage. Mm, well done, mate. Skinny. Well done. But I do have to say that I love about Arya that he can so easily call a spade a spade. So, I'm going to ask you, Madhavan. What's the one myth about marriage that you want to bust once and for all? Happily married. <laughs> it's thing, I think it's, it's over. Happily married as a destination is overrated. I don't think that everybody should aim for a happily married life. I think you should aim for a companionship over a period of time that is worth nourishing. And that is, that is actually contributing to each other's peace of mind as you grow older. And I think that's what it's all about. It's not happily... Uh, being married and smiling all the time. That's the myth. No, I couldn't agree more, actually. Really, for me, it's, it's really about having that partnership and making it last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the most underrated thing about marriage. Na? For me, it's, I mean, we make so many PJs about like a bad marriage, but what's the most underrated thing? For me, it's the comfortable silences. What about you guys? I think it's the ability to punctuate every moment in your life with somebody. And remember it, you know, I, I think if you are not able to do that, if you're not able to share a moment of either ecstasy, uh, ecstasy or agony mm. or a sense of achievement or a disappointment with somebody, I think it loses its uh, effect and impact. And I think that's, uh, that's very underrated. Punctuate the highs and the lows. Mm. Um, <clears throat> it took me a bit Baba Surveen deeper. Baba thinking. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking. It just took me a bit deeper. I think availab so by availability uh, is, I don't mean physical availability, but I just mean availability in every other way being taken for granted. That's underrated? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good point. <clears throat> it's underrated. It's true. What did doing a show like this teach you or show you about <coughs> your own marriages? Did you run back home a little quicker? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Just to be more accepting. I think accepting I... The yeah. sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please sorry. go ahead. No, you're finishing it. Yeah, so just accepting the constantly changing human being. Tough one. Very tough. Very uh, it's very easy for me to say that and it's going to be work in progress for as long as I live. But, well, that's, that's what it is. Oh, uh, you know, I realized <coughs> that... Uh, this is actually the show. Uh, I think has made me a slightly better husband. Yeah. I'm able to, uh, you know, I'm able to see the other point of view, <clears throat> and uh, sometimes, yeah, it these kind of realizations come from the most unexpected co quarters. Mm -hmm. And for me, it has come through decoupled. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, one achievement that all of us need to celebrate here is also over the past one year making a marriage work in lockdown. Mm. Did you learn anything new about your spouse that you didn't know all this while just by virtue of being in each other's faces 24 bar 7? Uh, uh, for no? me, the ad level of admiration and awe went up tremendously. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Honestly, did. No, for me, it was just that I, I, like, like, I, like I said, 
here in, uh, as far as the lockdown is concerned i have concerned i think it was really him physically just being there and being around because i always take, take had taken that for granted and um, i just began to value value that more my day seemed different i got far more time with him uh, than i have in the last 5 years since we got married actually because he's been extremely busy with work and it just reminded me of the times that we uh, had before you know work took him and um, took him a bit away physically bit away from me in the sense that he wouldn't get any time off and the time that we got to spend he got to spend actually with our daughter who's just two and a half yet big blessing so, yeah yeah big blessing humongous blessing yeah you know madhavan your son is now a very eligible bachelor and making all the waves <coughs> on social media are you up to date with the rules of uh, new age dating mm. or does it baffle you oh no i forget about new age dating new age baffles me <laughs> i'm not able to understand their generation at all but i do have a lot of hope for them because i really think they're far more evolved far more uh, uh, informed uh, as opposed to us we were still juveniles when we were 16 Uh, and you're right. They're quite young adults, and uh, they're very socially conscious. At least the ones that I've met. And um, <clears throat> my son, uh, uh, I think he's uh, he's right now just more into sports. He's uh, you know he's got a little bit of uh, 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 popularity because of the fact that he's done well in his sports, and he's my son. But both of us know he has a long way to go, and I'm very happy that he realizes that, and he's handled that fairly maturely. Yeah, yeah, and you know we um, often associate Bollywood with the breakups and the hookups and what not. For someone who's been married over twenty years and has a rather squeaky clean image, what are the rules to navigating a happy marriage in Bollywood? Be very careful. Of what? And discreet. I mean, क्या बोलने का? Um, <clears throat> to each his own. I'm not going to have a pass a judgment on what anybody does, and I have my own ghosts and skeletons in my closet, so um, there's no way that I'll pass a judgment on that. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm, um, you don't never want to hurt anybody, and you never want to, you know, what is important to you, you need to nourish it and keep it close to you, and I try my best to do that. Nice. Do you have inputs? I think what worked for me personally, uh, and to each his own, was that I. married somebody who did not belong here i think you go back to someone who maintains a little bit of normalcy in life this is a bubble and it keeps you far far away from reality and going back to that person who makes sure you're right there grounded all the time and uh, keeps that check on you always and doesn't let you fly high at all that comes naturally to my wife <laughs> she put a prithik roshan's photo in my cupboard ki aise ban jao then you can fly hone wala hai ni madrasi sa waste keep someone grounded <laughs> yeah. one picture does it <laughs> since the show's called spill the tea i thought we could have some fun and play a round of never have i ever and oh, you nice. guys have to spill some tea the rules are simple If you've done it, you drink something. Okay. okay. So I'm going to throw some. If you've done it, if you've done it, if you've done it, drink something. Okay. So, never have I ever stalked an ex on social media. I don't have an ex. I've never. Never have I ever been turned down by someone I fancied. Never no been. ex. Just your answers. You're not going to get any answers from this. this But uh, 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 never have I ever forgotten my partner's birthday. Oh. Never have I ever ever forgotten my partner. You, you forgot. Never. Don't, don't drink. Don't drink. Nee, nee, oh, nee. never have I. Ha. Nah. Huh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm confused. Okay. Sorry, yar. I'm confused. Okay. Sorry, yar. I'm confused. Okay. Never. I know. I've never. Never. Listen, I have. You have. I have. Horrible with dates. Oh wow. Never have I ever written a love letter. I've written a love letter. So drink now. No. No, no. Ne- if you've done if you it, have, you drink. Then you drink. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go again? No, no. no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Never have I ever checked my partner's phone. So if you've done it, you drink. Mm. No. Never have I ever said sorry when I didn't mean it. <laughs> I Bottoms have. up. 
<laughs> I have never said sorry. But when have I you didn't said sorry when you didn't mean it. Have you said sorry when you didn't mean it? No. Okay, and finally, <laughs> never have I ever accidentally sent someone a text that was meant for my spouse. Now, 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 now. Thank you, guys. Uh, the little bit that I saw of the show looks like a lot of fun, and I can't wait to binge this. Uh, all the best, and thank you for chatting with me. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank yeah. you. Very thank sweet you. Of you.